A major report recently published by the United Nations got the world's attention. It says it's unequivocal that human influence has warmed the atmosphere, ocean, and land, changing it in some ways that can't be reversed. So what does that mean for the Texas Gulf Coast? A meeting back up with Philippe All right. for a little demonstration. If the thickness of two quarters is about the amount the sea rises every year, and you add in about another two quarters for the sinking land, this is what 15 years of change looks like to communities on the Gulf. What kind of responsibility do they have to plan for this? Uh, they, they, they should think about it. Folks who design coastal infrastructure should think about it all the time. It's what world leaders are thinking about now in Glasgow, Scotland at a UN summit with a mission to drastically cut emissions. The goal is to limit future climate change by eliminating half of greenhouse gases by 2030 and all of them by 2050. Here's an example of why that matters. Near Galveston Bay is the iconic Space Center Houston. Using research and images from the science nonprofit Climate Central, this is what it looks like today. In a best case scenario, this is what sea level will look like by the end of this century and beyond. And that's if world leaders actually meet the challenge to limit rising temperatures. This is a worst case scenario if we keep doing what we're doing now. Along the Gulf, the refineries in Texas City, the boardwalk in Galveston, and the downtown of Corpus Christi would be gradually swallowed up by the rising sea. Longer term, uh, we're gonna have either to, to spend quite a bit of money to adapt or, or move out. Human nature has, has difficulty acting now to prevent something that happens in a, in, a, in a long time. And that's really what we should be doing. So I've learned a lot about sea level rise. The ocean is definitely rising. We know it because scientists have been studying this for decades. The big question we came down with was how much should we all be worried about this? For answers, you've got to look beyond how normal everything looks today and wrap your mind around a future where huge parts of Texas are changed forever. <laughs>